It runs Red Dead Redemption Silk Kitty. Silk Kitty. Bruh. It, it, it runs Red Dead Redemption Silky Smooth. This is neat, Asus. This is neat. And I'm gonna be definitely gonna be checking this M2 yeah. SSD. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Rabatech channel. Okay, in this video, uh, we'll be unboxing the Asus Flow Z13. We did uh, discuss about this one of our Asus ROG G Z75 JZ JZ750 disassembly, but my cousin here decided to purchase one. This is one of the. Uh, I didn't expect him to to get this, but it looks cool, guys. We actually open up and check, uh, just make sure everything is fine, because we don't want to unbox and then we have a cracked screen and all that stuff. So we're gonna be showing you what's inside. How much does this retail go? This one retails at two nine nine eight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there are three specs, three version of this uh, Flow 13, right? Uh, the i5, i7, and the i9 version. The i9 comes with a 4K 60 hertz. Uh, this is a mid-tier spec with an i7, uh, 120 hertz, uh, 1080p. So for that small screen, the retail screen, uh, it's, it's it's enough to game. So I I believe I did not have to go for the uh, 4K version. With a 60 hertz so, so i feel this is a most comfortable sweet spot for gaming 1080p yeah this is the gz301z model one z yep rtx 350 oh yeah yeah four gigabyte of video memory for, for a tablet is uh, astounding yep so what makes you decide <coughs> want to purchase this bro uh i'm pretty sure there is a lot of plenty good notebooks out there <laughs> yep with better specs but uh i travel a lot and being in our environment where you travel a lot uh portability becomes the main issue and with this machine it's ultra portable yep it's it's a tablet that can become a gaming pc on the go uh, you shall see. I'm pretty sure you heard about the the uh, Z13. We're just going to show you the specs and how it runs, and and who it'll cater for uh, if you decide to buy this. That it, it doesn't cater to everyone because there is better specs of laptops out there. Yep. So without further ado, we shall unbox this uh, machine, Asus this tablet. Flow, Asus ROG Flow Z13. Let's do this. All right. <coughs> Again, like I hear you already mentioned that this box is already open. Let's repack it just for you viewers again. <laughs> okay. It's a package within package. There you go. This is the first package, tablet. And the second package. I believe this will be the uh, power adapter. Uh, doesn't come with anything else. Okay. Just gives you a free pouch though. So out with the box. Free pouch. Oops. Oh, look at that. <coughs> pouch comes with a pouch. So it's two pouch in one. Alright, <coughs> um, we're back on the table. So we're gonna be sitting down. My cousin is gonna do the unboxing, and then again, this is for me quite pricey for a laptop tablet. It is, it is. But it's like like what he mentioned just now. It's it's not for everyone. It doesn't cater for everyone. This is for those. If you travel a lot, you wouldn't want to be carrying your 17 inch or 15 inch laptop just to game. 
this is very portable i'm quite curious on you know how it games because i play red dead redemption 2 and i've never completed the game until today all right so without further ado let's do this unboxing so what we're going to be checking out first what? okay like you said like i said before the box comes in three packages yep. the uh bag to carry the case or the case to carry the uh, tablet and then firstly we'll unbox the uh, power supply comes with the uh, a small brick yep uh, as you can see the uh, adapter is really really small uh, compared to a uh, conventional gaming laptop it's really yeah, really it's small. quite bulky okay yeah, like your previous asus already is quite right heavy. how many how many power does it supply 100 100 watt 100 watt so this tablet requires only 100 watt of power see how convenient it is to travel with just this it's and like not a, forgetting usb-c yeah so small and compact to travel just put it inside your your cabin bag or your suitcase so small and light lightweight exactly the tablet itself will weigh 1.1 kg there isn't any gaming tablet around prior to this there was have you heard of a company called nvidia right of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. they they did Duh. okay <laughs> they did they did launch a gaming tablet before did you know that i i just know the shield yeah the shield it's called the shield tablet huh. they have it but they don't sell it in singapore in sales six but the shield tablet mainly it's a it's called a gaming tablet but but literally it only plays mobile games oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, and, and, yeah, and it okay. supports uh nvidia geforce I don't play mobile GeForce, games. GeForce now? Yeah. Is that GeForce now? Okay. GeForce now, yeah. yeah. But uh, true gaming, gaming tablet? No. This is the first one. <laughs> this, yeah. FYI info only. <laughs> so, ah, wow. look at that box inside. Beautiful, isn't it? The way it's designed. Mm -hmm. This is not cheap. Yeah. You know, not, not many conventional company do good uh, packaging. This Apple is one. Apple yeah, is good packaging. This is uh, unboxing experience. Like I would love to keep this box. And you have what ingredients, game controller, cool drinks, game mouse, strategy, lightning effects, teamwork, performance, energy, 99% skills. SSD snack, 1% luck. Okay. Now we forgot to mention that the uh, storage in this one is 512 oh, NVMe. NVMe, yes. The i9 comes with the uh, one terabyte, so. <coughs> I think i7 is more than enough. Okay, so this is the tablet itself. Uh, we'll we'll un unpackage the unnecessary stuff first. Come on, package. Come with your manual, manual and stuff, it. which is not important. Ah, uh, wow! Just for the manual. Just for the manual. Everything you need for a perfect experience. All right. And this is the tablet itself. Okay. Uh, as you can see, it says zero six over here. I think it's a G series secret mean? message from Asus that it's. I, I don't know. I, you, get, you have to read the law about it. Uh, Intel i Core i seven G Force three fifty. Uh, there's a flip over here so you can flip standard okay. to okay. whichever length tablet itself comes with a keyboard which is detachable like a uh, Microsoft surface. surface yes so you can use it as a tablet by itself but if you are hardcore gaming you need a tablet or you need to do some productive work it comes with the uh, keyboard which is magnetically connected uh, okay and there you go switch on the latch behind can convert to any angle you like of course how many ports do they have we have one usb, USB 3. 3 headphone jack mm -hmm. power, USB -C. power button oh yeah usb c one usb c over here but usb 3.0 is that right USB 3.0 or 3.1 uh, and a proprietary connector for an egpu 
uh, which is only can be connected with an Asus eGPU which you can purchase separately which costs about I think 2500 yep. uh, initially initially the plan and the idea was to get the tablet and the eGPU together on the day of purchase itself then the epitome came to me that for 2500 you can get a uh, DIY or, or, or built laptop which is far more superior than the eGPU itself hence forgoing the eGPU which we were arguing yeah, about we were for a few quite a, hours quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. so uh, that's the story of how this thing is purchased the, the uh, proprietary connect connector over here we'll get a close up eh? is, is protected by a rubber grommet uh, it only can be connected with an ASUS eGPU you cannot uh, try to connect any uh, external eGPU provided by any manufacturers uh, the external eGPU provides a RTX 380 with 16 gigabyte of video RAM if you like to uh, Google or know what eGPU I think they do come with an AMD GPU as well but if you do not wish to use the eGPU there is an additional uh, USB-C as well if you like to utilize the function so you have two USB-C yes but the main primary uh, function of this this uh, connection is for the eGPU keyboard is fine for basic uh, typing it's RGB as well yeah uh, they, they, they do include a uh, ASUS Armory software as well and yeah you have the camera as well I oh, forgot to mention that uh, it does come with a uh, uh, micro SD for extra storage oh. uh, I think it's over here uh, bureau later on again over here and there is no room for upgradability you cannot upgrade the RAM actually you can replace the M.2 but it's quite different it's quite different so if the M2 fail this is where you replace I don't know can you if, if given the operation could you open it up uh, yeah you just take but the M2 will be what kind of size is the M2? This is quite uh, interesting. This okay. kind of M2, M.2, gonna check on that. So this is speaker, SD card, micro SD at the back. So I'm gonna show the B-roll footage later so you can see. The uh, M.2 storage, yeah, you can upgrade it as well. Yeah, I think the small, so small one. Quite, Excellent. quite different. So, wow. Definitely you can't upgrade the RAM. Max capacity, I think uh, what I read out was 16 gig. Okay, and you have vents on top of the tablet. Okay, the camera is 8 megapixel. The design is quite slick, as you can see. It's not, it's not really heavy. I'm quite impressed with the uh, display as well. And it comes with Windows 11 Home, if I'm not wrong. Did I mention it's touchscreen as well? No. no, it is touch screen though. It's a tablet. So we were bitching about the Asus ROG, you know, disassembly, and he got this. I got the Asus stuff, which yeah. will you will you will be reviewing soon. So uh, sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> we were bitching for like three hours, and then I'm like, don't don't buy, don't buy, don't buy. By Indian, I bought an Asus stuff. How much the graphic for the video? It's a, G a GTX 1060, 6GB uh, and I upgraded most of the RAM It's 32GB RAM Whoa! Uh, Content creator 16GB and 1TB uh, NVMe It comes with 512 but I wanted more and I could install additional drive inside as well so I had one terabyte of SSHD and one terabyte of PCIe and VME. Again, like the quote from my friend over here, this channel is not all about Apple. 
Yeah, this is channel is not all about Macs. So oh, you, sorry, Macs. Yeah, Macs. People ask me, hey, what do you use at home? I'm gonna say, I'll be using a Windows laptop. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, yeah. yeah, no, no, I'm not gonna say my name. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? So, <laughs> so alright, we're gonna go back to this. GTX, okay, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 laptop, not GTX, mine is just mine is GTX. So 4 gigabyte. I think this is more than enough. 4 gigabyte DDR G DDR6. Uh, the uh, main story, I guess, behind why I yeah. purchased it and, and, and the reason is uh, one, uh, I, I, I love Max as well. No? I had an Apple tablet, the uh, iPad Pro, and I think it was 2000. Because your brother is looking at me. That's why. Right. Was, no, no, no. <laughs> The ease of use of Mac is is unbelievable. Yeah. yeah? Uh, <coughs> the iPad is is, is a magnificent experience, but unfortunately, it's you two, can do two, <laughs> 2015, uh, and and sorry, six years and it, it's dying. It, it, you literally use half an hour and the battery's dead, and of course you can't game on it. <coughs> That's number one. Uh, during that time, the I iPad failed, my desktop broke, and the uh, previous Asus ROG GZ7550 uh, has uh, come of age, and it wasn't able to play any uh, latest games available. In, uh, in the market for looking for a desktop, a tablet, and a laptop to travel around. Quite a while, right? Quite a while. Hence, Asus came down with this, a tablet, a gaming laptop, and if you want, at that point, I was sure to buy the eGPU. So it's all three in one. Brilliant creation by Asus. I thought at the time, but then again, on hindsight, when you are about to come out the cash to pay for that extra additional two thousand five hundred. Uh, get a desktop instead of the eGPU but but if you have money to burn just get the eGPU if you want to yeah. no no problem about that because you wouldn't be carrying your eGPU when you travel yeah but again it's such a small portable desktop yeah. in a tablet Extra where you can yeah. but Still, this is more than enough it is more than enough more it is than more than enough, enough. Uh, as you can see if you travel you just pack it like that and, and one thing if you, if you do travel abroad a lot uh, most uh, airport securities uh, when you bought the aircraft if you're carrying a tablet you don't have to remove a tablet from your bag but if you do carry a laptop <coughs> you have to remove it from your bag yeah, yeah, okay? yep, yep. and at certain countries they need you to switch on the laptop as well so uh, tedious but with a tablet you just don't have to to, to remove it and there you go it's a tablet by itself yeah. A gaming tablet just like that now th there is of course the uh, nintendo switch where you can travel but so small and, and it's limited uh, for for nintendo switch you you play 10 year old games from pc titles which which nobody plays anymore no. they do with some who plays uh, I, but I, do play. I do play i do have tablet yeah, uh, a nintendo I, switch I as well i also want recent games to be you don't want my laptop to play exactly. games. You don't you don't you won't see Red Dead Redemption or Elden Ring anytime soon on a Switch. But with this, go to any stores, I think they have stock anytime. Better than the uh, Steam Deck itself. Okay, so uh, Windows eleven? Okay. Uh, we'll launch Steam first. Now now Red Dead Redemption is is uh, not the most demanding game there are demanding games now but benchmark is there but if you can run Red Dead Redemption I don't think you, there's any problem with other games as well so I won't bore you with frames per second how much they can yeah, run uh, the important thing is when you play the game it, it, it gets you in what's that called it immerses you it's enough you don't have to worry about the frames per second what about the speakers bro? Speakers is fine if you're on your own, but, but if you want 
good sounds, fifth one is always the option. You support the Dolby Atmos. It does? You didn't know? There you go, Dolby Atmos. I can't see it, but there you go. It runs Red Dead Redemption Silk, Silky Silk Smooth. Smooth. It runs Red Dead Redemption Silky Silky, Silky. It, it, it runs Red Dead Redemption Silky Smooth. So you'll be immersed irregardless of how many frames per second. But it, it for sure it's more than 30 frames per second because the screen supports 120 hertz. Silky Smooth. 120 hertz. hertz again this is on 1080p you can get the 4k version at 60 hertz but buttery smooth <laughs> on a 1080p i don't play it on keyboard i play it on controller you, you have you know how to control why not control uh -huh. WASD. oh yeah wasd yeah yeah Look oh my that. god oh, so I'm not really used to using the keyboard because I use the controller but you can see how the game is like Some people are concerned with FPS and all Crap Don't get it As long as it looks good uh, but, but, but I, I guess I don't blame them if you have a 380 or 390 Ti or whatever You wanna have that, that uh, quality no that 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 proof of oh it's 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 120 frames per second yeah you haven't tried this on the, your ps5 huh? what remote is that huh? you haven't tried remote play on the oh yeah so remote play on this one is 120 so. all right that's the gaming so we're back the gameplay it's really smooth buttery smooth silky smooth no, not silky. <laughs> right? Um, okay, bro, what's the battery life like since you're the one using this? From my personal experience, I've never played it out of battery. Mostly when, when you check in and check out, you have a power socket. You, you just plug it in. You just plug it in. But I've never actually gone on the beach or play in the park or whatsoever. I don't think... I think roughly about one and a half hours you, if you play hardcore gaming because I don't think normally good laptops gaming laptops has a good battery lifespan yeah, yeah for gaming you if you based power. on depending on power so it's uh, inadvisable if you want to play this on the go with this just your battery because I don't think it'll last long probably what one and a half hours only. we're not gonna disassemble this probably five years down the road six years down the road <coughs> yes <coughs> fans this is where the fans ventilate mm. again from my experience when you play it can get pretty warm uh, on the uh, that's chassis standard. Yeah. That's standard. Yeah. but if you're into the camera thing then that's the information 720p on the front 8 megapixels on the back on the back yep so just 3 ports USB 3.2 I, I was wrong just now we check again it's USB 3.2 Again, if if you don't travel a lot, I would strongly advise not to get this one because there are other Model. better better spec laptop that is more beefier than this one. Uh, the G14, for example, it's a fantastic laptop. This one, if if you travel a lot. And, and you want to maximize the convenience this is it you don't game on a mac <laughs> and yes you of course you can do video editing on this machine um you can do music production as well on this machine. basic basic it's yeah. not it's not the most powerful photoshop thing so okay yeah my i'm gonna be very curious on the m2 so i'll be doing uh research off okay. research Later on, so if in any case, in future, if the drive fail, is it replaceable? Or, you know, do I need to take out the whole display and, you know, of course, if I were to clean the fence, I would have to, but where do I start? That will be <coughs> five years, three or four years from now. I, I forgot to mention that, that they do have a 
this is a Z13 they do have an X13 version which is a notebook version not a tablet version same features a laptop, yeah. Yeah. Uh, laptop sorry. notebook small laptop yeah, yeah. Uh, the X, X13 if you're interested in that one my future concern let's see display crack how where do I get this replaced as well the screen future three four years from now okay gaming is perfectly fine for battery wise i think should be two hours two and a half hours depending on what you use or uh, what you how, how you game depending also if you disable the rgb backlight i'm going to show you in the bureau so yep i think that's about it anything that we missed out so in conclusion in conclusion is it worth the money is it worth the money is it worth the money or should you get this tablet uh it's not worth the money because there are better specs better laptops out there uh, it depends on personal preference back to the conclusion it's not for everyone it's uh it's a niche product where if you travel a lot you might find it useful but if you don't really travel that much and you want a powerful gaming laptop then this would be such a waste of uh, money. money yeah but if you do travel a lot and you want the convenience of lightweight portability and convenience perfect answer for a uh, traveling gamers yeah where your work involves traveling around and you don't have time to game this would be perfect but if you don't travel around uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend so it just comes with 30 oh, 13 inch display that's all that's for the flow oh, yeah yeah no 15 inch rules. unfortunately okay. no again 1.1 kg this thing weight so it is really pretty lightweight yeah uh, you can watch your movies you can do your productivity work best thing of all you can game that's it that's my conclusion I thoroughly enjoy this this is perfect for my occupation so yeah because of his <coughs> ROG previous ROG that's where I decided to purchase the Asus stuff without telling him first but I didn't know he repurchased this as well <laughs> after that would it make a difference if I told you that I purchased no right yeah so. but still it's like we were only discussing and I, I I went home I did my own research on what suits me and then I found out the Asus stuff suits what I do but who knows who knows who knows in the future who knows suddenly out of the blue hey bro I have the X13 <laughs> <laughs> alright so yep again guys um, thank you so much for watching um, we hope we don't um, I say we it depends on your budget it depends on your wallet uh, it depends on what you do as well if you travel a lot this is perfect for you just the laptop it, it, it comes with the keyboard right yeah yes. you don't need to buy this separately um, it doesn't come with a stylus though oh yeah we didn't, we didn't I think the i9 version comes with a stylus I'm not quite sure but uh, I've seen somewhere in the review that uh, when they open up the unboxing it comes with a stylus so I was hoping when I open up the box one stylus pops sure up there's no stylus in the box I don't think Definitely. so alright so okay guys well yeah. okay guys <laughs> welcome eh? <laughs> okay guys thank you so much okay thanks thank you my cousin here for having you know review unbox this together so you guys can decide um, we're not forcing you to buy we're not selling it as well we're not selling so it as well uh, just giving in our it. two cents opinion we're not sponsored as well so yeah. Yeah, 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 true. It's not sponsored Important, yet. Right. This, is, this is bought without. I'm own. still gonna say that this is ROG G750J. <laughs> so, but again, all right, this is neat. Asus, this is neat. And I'm gonna be definitely gonna be checking this M2. Yeah, SST. 
Yes. But what on your honest, honest opinion, are you are you impressed by it? Yep, I'm definitely impressed. I, I, okay, I don't care for the RGB. It's bullshit. I'm always look on the lookout for upgradability and repairability. Yeah, I'm looking for all that. So uh, this yeah, is. We didn't mention that it's not upgradability. Well. Except for the uh, yeah, M2. for the M2. Definitely, I think the RAM. RAM is messed up. RAM is uh, integrated. Director, mm. there, see. RAM is messed up. Most <laughs> most laptops ha has integrated RAMs, but my Asus stuff, I still can max it out till thirty two. I think that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this. If you have anything to say, it's your uh, guest here. Thank you for having me, uh, giving me the opportunity to showcase the. Uh, Tablet. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. So being much, here. Bro. All mm -hmm. right, let's go for a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. Uh, subscribe. <laughs>